live from BCN Arts Studio in Berea, Kentucky, this is BCN Weekly News. Good evening, and welcome back to another episode of BCN Weekly News. My name is Dain Jung. Tuesday afternoon, students, staff, and faculty gather in the Cyber Regime to celebrate this year's Labor Day. From the Expo, professional sessions, and more, Mac Carmack attended this event and recaps the best parts. Hi, I'm here outside of the Seabury Center to see what kind of events, games, and activities they have planned for Labor Day 2023. Labor Day 2023 was filled with so many different opportunities and activities for students. The day was divided into multiple sessions for students to enhance their career development. Some of these sessions include resume writing, professionalism, a handshake workshop, and more. Most students may know Labor Day by the Expo, and this year's was a hit. Numerous labor positions on campus held booths to recruit students, some of which were the Center for International Education, Campus Life, Nursing, Agriculture and Farm Work, and Student Crafts, although many more were present. I sat down with Labor Assistant of Training and Development, Rosanna Napoleon, about why Labor Day 2023 is so unique. Well, um, Labor Day is um, originally was a day for um, students to basically celebrate their work well done. Um, this year, it's um, we're turning it into more of a professional development day, along with the block party that we've been advertising as well, which is the celebratory part. So brick by brick, the intention there for calling it that um, as a theme is kind of thinking about all of the different pieces, the different sessions and workshops that we're going to be offering as a building sort of like pieces to build um, your future as a student. Besides the differences this year, I wanted to touch one on one with the Labor Department about what Labor Day means to them. Dean of Labor, Kavis Robinson, did an excellent job about explaining the importance of Labor Day and not just for students, but also staff and faculty. Uh, the other exciting component, I think, is that Labor Day is an opportunity to network and learn about all the vast uh, and the variety of labor positions that we have on campus. And so um, it's really a day of exploration, a day of discovery, and also a day of deepening your skill set and really honing the skills that you might already have as well. So that to me is why a student should consider coming to Labor Day. And uh, of course, we hope to see everybody there. And I would also say that it is an opportunity for the entire community to engage and really think about labor and the importance of it here at Berea College. Well, it is safe to say that Labor Day 2023 was a success. I'll keep you updated with any more information about labor that comes your way. Reporting from Seabury for BCN Weekly News, back to you, Diane. Thanks, Mac. The Labor Department outdid themselves with this, labor's, this year's Labor Day. We will let you know what additions or changes that they make to next year's events. In other news, Last weekend, the Barrier Mountaineers women's basketball team competed in the semifinal and final tournament to claim their ticket into the National College Aid Conference of the South or the CCS. Saturday afternoon, the Mountaineer competed against Merrillville with a final score of 55 to their 38. Barrier's team kept this trick up in their game Sunday afternoon against Piedmont by the end, Berea won by 8 points. This means Berea is eligible for the national championship in the line with the women's CCS upcoming conference. This is the first time conference of its kind. As the CCS is sponsored by the NCAA Division III, currently the next scheduled competition is March 3rd at 8 p.m. against Ohio Northern University. For now, that is all the information we have on the CCS National Championship. We will let you know when we find out more regarding the location and time of the conference. On behalf of our news team, thank you for watching BCN Weekly News. I'm Dain Jong. For more coverage, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Barrio College News Radio and watch our show online at www.
bcnewsradio.com. We will see you next week. Good night.